when I wear this fragrance, it's like I have to chase them away with a stick. Okay, I get too many compliments. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Please subscribe if you have not already. I have friends and subscribers over in the Northern Hemisphere and that's like America and all those other countries. Um, and they're having fall right now. As you would know by now, I'm in the South of the hemisphere so we're having spring and summer and so here we are we're gonna make a fall autumn fragrance collection this is what i would wear if it was fall right now here in australia let's just go right into the beast mode perfumes i just realized that i have not done a review on this perfume at all so it is semi new into my collection i did mention it in one of my bag reviews i will link that video in the description box but anyway it came in a package like this and yeah this was the set so as you can see it has that travel size and the big bottle the travel size is 15 mils and i have used a little chunk out of it and the bottle is 125 mils in here so it is a nice sleek black shiny bottle um, with like gold on it it just looks nice okay now why do i think this fragrance is great for fall okay just wait i'll tell you as soon as i open it okay <clears throat> the reason i even bought this perfume was because i heard that it had sandalwood if you know me you know i love sandalwood in my perfumes it is sweet woody and creamy mm. And this is no exception. Sandalwood perfumes or woody scents or spicy scents, uh, oriental scents are perfect for fall because you know, you guys up there would have pumpkin, you know, spices and your chai lattes, you know. And this just reminds me of that. So it has, it's an oriental fragrance. It has leather, neroli, oud, sandalwood. Oh, I probably shouldn't spray them because. Oh, and it is so strong. Mmm. It's like smooth, spicy sandalwood, you know, with a bit of animalic in there. That could be the leather. Top knots, you get florals. And then, you know, middle notes are like the rose and the cinnamon and, mm. and then the dry down has that animalic, like skin friction, woody, sandalwood, so a bit creamy, um, spicy. It's nice, okay? and it's not too dark it's not a dark fragrance so because it's not winter yet okay so we want a little bit of brightness but it, like mellow down you know because it's cloudy in fall and you've got those orange and browns and those types of colors and um this would be perfect it's not a dark scent it's it's spicy creamy you know i love it i will have to chat some more about it i think it came out in 2004. there's a whole um collection that guerlain made that i love and i want to collect more of their fragrances in this line oh my gosh <laughs> can they stop creating beautiful perfumes like guerlain just does the most okay we love them Anyway, this is great for fall. Let's move on. In this collection, I will have some affordable scents as well. So don't run away just because <laughs> I've started out with a girl on fragrance. Although the pricing is actually really good on these ones. It's not like the private blend um, top 
luxury stuff from Guerlain. This is like middle range prices, you know? Our next fragrance is Always Red. This is an affordable one. Um, Elizabeth Arden. As you can see, I have gone through the bottle. It is a lovely perfume. This would be perfect for fall because it is musky, a little bit spicy, but not, not a great deal. Um, it has blood orange, passion fruit, um, red plum. It is fruity, but musky. It is a great go-to um, in fall also because it's a deep sensual scent and yeah and it reminds me of that vibe of autumn and fall so yeah you will not break the bank with this perfume it is my go-to as you can see you cannot go wrong with this one so yes always red by elizabeth arden the next scent is scandal by night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh, this is so good. This to me is better than the original because that one is just honey. This one has like top notes of like citrus, honey, and then the middle note, uh, tuberose, the base, Tonka, sandalwood. I'm running out of space to spray these perfumes, but this is so good. It's sweet because of that honey as well. It's not too honey smelling. <laughs> it's a very strong perfume. I only need to spray like two sprays. Yes. And it's good for cloudy days because it has a touch of sweetness. I always like my perfumes to have a touch of sweetness. So, yes. Mm. And sandalwood, you know. So, yeah. It kind of reminds me of, um, I want to say Poison Girl, the, the EDP. In the beginning, like in the opening. But, um, yeah. Oh, it's so good. If you have not tried it, go and smell it. Um, I'm sure you're going to prefer this one over the initial um, scandal one that came out. So, yeah. Love it. Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Our next scent is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. It is a... Oh, Sweet candy, caramel, lovely perfume. It is dense and just thick, okay? It's, it's heavy smelling. In my other video, I mentioned that this to me smells like the taste of candy floss. Yeah, very heavy and sweet caramel you know like caramelized sugar yeah i love this it would be perfect for fall i mean try and wear it in fall and let me know what you think i think you will love it okay it is a cozy scent it is it is very warm and sugary that's basically it I suggest this for fall as well. So yes. So I was looking at this name and trying to remember how I pronounced it in the other video. Elixir de Merve. Is that right? This is an Hermes fragrance. Okay, look at this bottle. Okay, isn't this like fall? Ah, huh? it's like a fall vibe. Like, honestly, the orange, 
Then we get to the smell. Mmm. Embery. Smoky. Spicy. It's perfect. Perfect for fall and autumn. It's like the color of the leaves falling off the tree. Um, I don't know if you listen to Mozart. If you go on YouTube and you watch Mozart, like you play a Mozart um, video or a recording or music, they always have like different seasons. And there's one called Four Seasons. I love listening to Mozart music and they always have great pictures on their instrumentals um, of fall leaves and autumn leaves, you know, and it's lovely. Anyways, I just remembered of that from this bottle, this orange vibe. This bottle is very unique. It sits on the vanity like this on a desk, just sideways. Um, it had like a little plastic sleeve over the top. It doesn't really come with a cap. Mm, this is so good and I don't know how but mine started leaking and it was just all oils this looks like water or you know um, but it has a lot of oils it's very good quality um, it stays on for a very long time it's not overpowering but it's like a moderate strong it does have good projection but it's not a beast, is in it's not strong, it's not heavy and dense. Um, so you know, we're not trying to wear fragrance that is good for winter, like we're trying to separate our fragrances at the moment. Let's deal with fall, and fall would suit this perfume because, or should I say the perfume suits fall? Because it's not too dense, you know, it's 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 still bright outside and you know to a certain degree it's still got those nice colors going on it's not dark and gloom it's it's you know brown orange you know bright yellows you know nice so we want a fragrance that is not too dark and deep you know we want something a little bit um warm and light you know what i mean so yes this is perfect and you've got the spices of the season um You've got the herbs of the season, so it is spicy, embery, warm, okay? And even if you spray a lot of this, it's not overpowering, you know? So, yeah, it's lovely. This is like a, a light cardigan, you know, um, light jacket kind of vibe. Or oh, ankle boots, you know yeah and it's luxurious you smell like a high quality woman in this it's hermes i mean what do you expect i will have to smell the others in this range um i know they have like many fresh scents and all that but this is great this is great for fall okay um that's it there <laughs> The name will be in the description box because I'm not about to try and pronounce this again. I should have learned some French. My next recommendation for fall to all of you guys is Nirvana Black by Elizabeth and James. Okay. <laughs> OMG. It's got this woody, creamy, vanilla kind of thing going on and it has a violet note that makes it really special mm. it's nice it leans a little bit masculine but i definitely think a woman can wear this because of that creamy vanilla do you know and the scent of wood of course but it would work for fall um yes mm-hmm because it's not overly strong. It's creamy, sweet, and woody. And that works well for fall. So, yes. This is very appropriate. 
there we go let me know if you've tried this one there's a few in this range as well um but this is the only one that i own it was love at first sniff for me um it was a blind buy but i do not regret it at some point i was wearing it every day as if it was a signature scent and i would even wear it to bed um it's not a typical bedtime scent. I'm not saying wear it to bed, but I'm just in weird moods sometimes and I just pick out whatever is closest to me or whatever I feel like and I'll just wear it. It's like I'm going out, but I'm in bed. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm trying to transport myself and encourage certain dreams with the fragrance that I'll be wearing that night. Anyway, it's cozy. Mm. Anyways, if you have not tried it or you own it, take it out for fall this year, okay? Our next fragrance is Juicy Couture, Gold Couture. And it's been so long since I mentioned this fragrance, but I love it. Oh, popular fragrance, but it's affordable and it's good. So we're going to talk about it. It is caramel. It smells like the color gold, basically. It's very young, girly, warm and sweet. So I think it would suit fall. It is a fan favorite. It is a must try. So give Juicy Couture, Gold Couture a try for this season. A subscriber let me know that, um, of course you can't really see the amount of juice left in your bottle just by looking by the naked eye. So they mentioned that I need to use the flash of the camera to have a look. I have not tried that, but you go ahead and try that and see if it works. Um, I trust them. So, um, yeah, that's it there. Cute, cute. I think it's a bit childish, but that's just my opinion. Um, it's cute. It's just cute. It's adorable. You know, um, it's an adorable deco bottle situation here but the scent is great it lasts four four hours four five hours on me but i have to spray it generously because i know it's not really offensive and yeah it's a casual smell for me um cardigan going out for a quick run out kind of vibe it's not a dressy, formal occasion type of scent. It's good to have affordable scents on hand. You know, when you just don't feel like using up your thousand dollar bottles, you can just take this and ch -ch -ch spray. So yes, this is a hundred mil bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. The next fragrance I'm gonna chat about is a Chanel fragrance. I think every video will probably have a great Chanel perfume just because they're staples you know um, and they are a go-to if you're looking for luxury perfumes but you don't know where to start or you have you know limited options depending on the areas you live i would say go with chanel because they have everything for different types of seasons so my honorable mention today is coco mademoiselle intense specifically intense um to me, this scent is a yell round um, signature scent for a classy woman. It is warm and great quality. Let's just leave it there. If you want a in-depth review of it, go ahead and watch my other videos because I have spent some time on this perfume. Um, so yeah, go ahead and make it your signature scent for fall if you wish. It is a great safe scent. My next honorable mention is Shalimar ADP. 
by Guerlain. We love Guerlain. They're another brand that has everything that we need. If you don't want to deep dab in different um, fragrance houses, go ahead and try Chanel, Guerlain, you know, they have everything. So this is one of the great ones. It has a lot of history. I mentioned that in my last video, but it is an honorable mention because it would work great for fall. Spicy, woody, feminine, you know, so yes. As you can see, the juice as well just suits our fall season theme. So yes, go ahead and try it. It has good sillage, it has great performance, so, and you're getting quality. It can be a signature scent for a classy woman. I mean, I'm in my 20s, but I still love this. I would say it would be a signature scent for a woman in her 30s. Like they would appreciate it more. I mean, 30s and onwards. So 30 onto 40s, onto 50s. Like it's it'll be a perfect signature scent. I think um, because it's such a classic vintage smell. The people that would most appreciate it are people of like a you know young mature age. Does that make sense? Anyways, as I mentioned, I'm in the 20s and I love it. So it depends with the person. Here we go. Last look at our Shalima. Love the bottle. The next fragrance is Angel Muse by Mugler. They used to be called Thierry Mugler. Now it's just Mugler. Okay. So this is a 100 ml 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. Um, it's a nice sleek bottle with this silver trim or outing, whatever you want to call it. Glass bottle, um, star in the middle. I think um, Mugler was trying to go for like a, a galaxy cosmic stars kind of vibe with this bottle. Um, yes. Ooh. So they describe this scent as a gourmand vertiver. Okay, so it's it's chocolatey. It's tasty, like a gourmand would be. It just smells edible. Okay, so it has that hazelnut cream, vanilla, and yeah, vertiver. Anyways, this is perfect for fall. This is perfect for fall. Like. <laughs> It's nice, it's sensual, it's warm, and that's the vibe we're going for. The juice just shows you what kind of scent it would be um, with this golden color. It suits our theme for fall. And if you are starting in perfumes and you start collecting perfumes, this is one you would have to own for sure. Um, you could underestimate it from smelling it through the bottle, but once on, it can be quite strong. It lasts a long time. It is not a dark scent. Like I said, it smells like hazelnut chocolate. So even though it's perfect for winter, it would still suit for fall. Try it and see how you feel. The first time I smelt it, I said, oh, okay, it's nice, but then I didn't buy it right away. And then I just kept smelling it each time I went to the store and it grew on me. And I realized life could not go on without it. So here we are now. I used to have a 30 ml bottle. I had to go get a 100 ml bottle. Um, of course I didn't use the 30 ml bottle but you know, I just wanted more just in case because you only need a little bit, you know, um, if you're an oversprayer, you'd probably need three, four sprays maximum. If you don't really spray too much, just like me, 
maybe two would be overdoing it so <laughs> yes it's good it's good quality for being a designer fragrance and you get your money's worth with this because I don't know if it's ever gonna finish unless I share it I love his fragrances I hope to purchase more so yes I want the original angel among others I love aura so yes lastly but definitely like definitely not least I mean look at this fragrance I have gone through it this is this is her by Zadig and Voltaire perfection okay oh this is a a woody floral gourmand okay oh it's so addictive it has um, pink pepper sandback jasmine like mm, chestnut cream like a milky chestnut cream vanilla sandalwood sandalwood dominates in here and the chestnut it's very very creamy and sweet milky <laughs> it is yummy okay so but not like edible yummy it's it's like milky creamy yummy when i wear this fragrance <laughs> It's like I have to chase them away with a stick. Okay, I get too many compliments, like a lot. All right, and maybe it just works with my skin. Hmm. Or the fragrance is just super great. <laughs> um, I love this. I'm going to need to always have a bottle of this. I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. I think I would just put it away for like certain seasons like summer because it's quite it can be sickening you know because of that milky sweet you wouldn't want that in the heat because the heat accentuates um, fragrances especially the milky ones and the sweet ones and the heavy ones this is a heavy creamy fragrance so it would work great for fall it has that touch of sweetness it has those woody you know floral scents um yes but i am having trouble with my bottle can you guys see this here do you see what is happening to the lid the paint is kind of coming off and it leaves these white things on my skin anyway yes when i spray this fragrance on it's basically oils you know it's so potent such good quality please don't go and overbuy this perfume because then I won't have any bottles left for myself this bottle is quite simple it's like a milky white suits the scent um, it has like this broken glass design on the side um, and there's a male version of this perfume and the bottle comes in black um, that one is a little bit more spicy I don't have it I plan on getting it um, but this is my favorite I have done an in-depth review of this fragrance so go ahead and check out that video I'll link it in the description box it's just good to have more background of the fragrances because in some videos I might you know just give a quick description but not really go in depth so it's good to have a look at the other videos as well this is a 100 ml 3.3 fluid ounce bottle sometimes I associate fragrances with colors and certain textures and I think this fragrance is good because it reminds me of leaves also because of that floral note um, leaves and wood you know wood is brownish or you know um, and florals are a bit white and milky and you know and that's all relevant to fall season and you know we've got that vanilla sandalwood anyway go ahead and try it if you have not already if you have the bottle go ahead and get it out of your closet and use it for fall because you'll be missing out okay and you will bless other people with your presence and your nice smelling aura if you wear this fragrance 
it's not for everyone because of that milky note some people will feel a bit like sickened by that like it's too creamy for some people but it works for others and i'm one of them so yeah so that's it for this video if you have not had enough of me or fragrances <laughs> Go ahead and check out my other videos. I will link some in the description box or just go on my page and find something that you like. I do bags, I do shoes and fragrances. So I'm sure there's something there that you would enjoy. Luxury hauls, I mean, what don't I do? Anyways, <laughs> I also want to thank all my subscribers, okay? and everyone that's been commenting and hitting that like button i truly truly appreciate all of you and hope we can continue connecting with one another anyways i will be putting some comments at the end of my videos you know just a quick shout out <laughs> so yes look forward to that and we're gonna do a giveaway okay i just keep let me know in the comment section what you would like i'm thinking a fragrance i'm thinking an slg i'm thinking i'm thinking all kinds of things jewelry so yes just leave me a comment in the comment section and what are you wearing this fall do you like the perfumes that i mentioned in this video if you do go ahead and like this video okay anyways until next time, take care and bye.